Hey, yo, everyone. How are you doing? Oh, I moved this a little bit. I got a new mic. Yay. I'll turn the music down a little bit. And it's actually working now, as opposed to um, the last video, apparently. Um, turn sound out on my side. Uh, apparently, the last video, my, I was only coming out of one ear. And so it's fixed now, hopefully. And it should be coming out. Uh should be coming out hopefully in both ears sounding well so what is up everyone uh bernie's back at this point i'm honestly just gonna start every stream with with mittens bernie because it it's just not even a meme anymore it's not a thing but i'm just gonna keep it because it makes me smile so that's that's pretty much the only reason now how are you guys doing today? Matthew Morrison, it's uh, it's been a crazy day. It, it's just been like busy, like house life crap and grocery pickup and then all this Dino Fury stuff in the stream tonight. So, whew, if y'all allow me, it's the first time I'm kind of for the day, right? I guess I could take this starting soon off. Uh, I'll do the whole intro spiel in uh in just a moment that's whenever i i'll mark it like on the live stream like hey the live you know the show actually starts then so this is all just preview that only people who watch from the very beginning we'll see dude uh it, it's all about dino fury man it's crazy it, it's premiering tomorrow i've watched all the preview clips i am so so hyped uh what up uh red ninja scott burgundy trendly zaya what up austin ryan Eight eight or man, whatever that is. Eight eight or eight eight. I don't know. Uh, remember tomorrow? Yes, <laughs> yeah, Scott Sandler. Big big day for episodes. Uh, it's one take, Liz. It's always one take, Liz. That's what my life has had to become. Uh, been a good day. Bought a car last night. Congrats, Moira. That's that is definitely not every day. Someone says I bought a car. So, uh, <laughs> skinny boy ten dino rar. Um, do do. All right, guys. I think if we probably have enough people in. Uh, real quick, I want to mention at the beginning because I was only ever mentioned my Patreon at the end, so I am gonna be selfish and put this in. I have a Patreon. However, I did just put a join button like right down there, and uh, if you want to swap over or check it out now that I'm doing more things on live stream, if uh you swap over, you do the five dollar there. Or I think even for a dollar, you, you get like emotes and stuff by your name. Since I'm live streaming more, it's like YouTube's way of um, doing Twitch streaming things. So I'm officially a not a Twitch affiliate, like a YouTube whatever. I don't know. Anywho, that's the thing. That was the worst commercial ever for it. And uh, with that, the starting soon is over. I'll take down the alcohol warning. And we shall get to it. Oh... Oh, by the way, I don't have gin and tonic because I realized that tonic water, I thought it was like salt water and it has a ton of carbs in it. So, um, yeah, back on the keto way of crap. Uh, Mittens Draken is a joke. Ooh, that's, that is not a bad idea. That is not, not a bad idea. All right. Y'all ready? Arr. Let's do this. This is where I tell everybody, go ahead and cut to this part right here if you're just starting for the show. Ahem. Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You made another week, so welcome to the Ranger Recon Review. It's the show that goes over everything that happened in the world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. My name is Ranger Liz. I have a drink. I hope you are ready because this week, guys, obviously, obviously, even obviously, that word too, it's Dino Fury. It's all Dino Fury hype. But we also have some fun stuff in gaming news, comic news, uh, merch news, lightning collection stuff. And that's just Power Rangers. Um, Ultraman, another new series is showing up for free that we're going to be able to watch. Uh, some really cool decade stuff uh, coming out, like ride watches, if you're interested in it. So lots of fun things to get to. But we are going to start not with Dino Fury because that is, of course, the big, it's the big thing. Also, I hope since I don't have a picture up there, you guys can actually see um, my Rider Boys all hanging out up there. I'm going to cover them very, very quickly. But there they go. They like to hang out. Kick back and relax. My can, I don't know what happened to my can, honestly, but it has dents in it at the bottom. So... 
The Ranger Week interview starts right now. Okay, we're good. We're good. There we go. I hope you all have your drink o choice tonight for whatever that may be. Seltzer water is always a, a fun thing to drink in the evening. And Sean, I hope you're staying hydrated while you're doing your boxing. Let's start with some comic news, oddly enough, because, again, we're skipping over... Let me go to that Ranger Week interview thing off real quick. Boop. There we go. Let's toss up some comic news, because we did get some fun stuff. There's also some Radiant Black stuff that I might talk about later on in the show. I just really was did not have enough time to try to add it um, in this late. But this is uh, Power Rangers number 7, and this is going to be on sale May 12th. Uh, synopsis, it's the new Mighty Morphin team versus the new Green Ranger. But whoever's left standing will have to deal with Lord Zed's shocking uh, machinations and even more, or his even more surprising ally. So these are all the way we're looking at March uh, solicits. This is going to be Mighty Morphin number 7. Or, I'm sorry, this is Power Rangers. Oh, I'm sorry, I showed you the wrong picture. I showed you Power Rangers, and I meant to show you Mighty Morphin. There we go. That was May 12th. New Mighty Morphin team versus the new Green Ranger. Whoever's left standing has to deal with Lord Zed. Yada, 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 May 12th. Mighty Morphin number 7. Sorry about that. I showed you the wrong image. This image right here, and I didn't swap those out to so you guys didn't even have. I'm still working on this whole being better at live streaming thing, so I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, anywho, what you're looking at right now is actually Power Rangers number 7. On sale May 19th. Synopsis, uh, the new Power Rangers and Draken are on the run in space, but they must find new allies if they want to defeat the Imperials. That means trusting someone they're not sure if they're friend or foe, if they're going to save the universe. And then, there's Draken. So I'm like, okay, I haven't read any of these yet. One day, I, I will catch up, and, and I will get there. Eventually. Um, for those of you wanting to finish off Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the, uh, volume 14 is out now on Amazon. It collects, uh, basically 51 through 55, the end of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So if you want to get it for that completionist, boom, there you go. Uh, I will have links to it. So quick shout out. Uh, I have a link. It's like Amazon shop, whatever. I'm also... I'm trying to, like, upgrade and stuff. I'm trying to bring myself to the 21st century or whatever. But all of my stuff's going to be on there. I have, like, a landing page. And so you can actually see now I have public all of the links. Whenever I'm, like, I have all of these searches constantly going in lists and stuff. Well, now they're public. So just go to that through the shop So because it's, like, through my affiliate link and stuff. But basically, any comic, I have all of the trades up. I have all of the everything, basically. So, um, if you ever want to go check that out, that link is down there as well. But, yeah, that came out this week, and it was really it was a, a short week. And, uh, I guess, I mean, it wasn't that short of a week in comic news, but, but you know. You know. Uh, let's talk about gaming news real quick. So, we got some stuff from Heroes of the Grid. Uh, Renegade did another, like, Renegade Con. And one of the next things coming to Heroes of the Grid... Oh, I almost had that timing. <laughs> Dino Thunder. That's right. So Dino Thunder is coming, but it doesn't have the Black Ranger Tommy because remember he was in like his own pack. Now they still sell that pack, I believe. So if you're like, but 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 they just made like a Tommy um standalone kind of pack like that. Um checking up on chat. Hey Liz, what up? Larry, Moira, what everyone? Uh Superhero 101. Ellen has a cold cup of coffee and a cold. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. No, 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 no. K-Bomb! Yeah, I'm going to miss hearing K-Bomb a lot. I, I actually I really miss it already. Like, it's only been a year since it's been off, but I still love the theme. That's the pre surgery of the stuff earlier. Uh, let's see. That is... We have other gaming stuff. No, no, no. We have other gaming stuff. Un momento. I'm going to show you more than just that because we also did see uh, gaming some of the card like this one right here for the Thunder Max Saber. So if you want to get a look or an idea of what some of the artwork is for that, 
And then another one that we are getting is going to be in space. Oops. I'm also still getting used to this mic, right? Like I'm like trying to figure out how to see. I hope my audio sounds better, if if at all possible, if you guys have noticed. <coughs> Excuse me. What up, Chris Brandon? Hello. Hello. Um we tried to create the Renegade Rangers, just wait. Ended up very impatient. I think I might wait. Did, when did he try to create the ring? Um, Zane, uh, so he got a bunch of cards and stuff too, has been revealed. And let's see a quick, uh, also thanks to Lord Malachite always who, who sends me a bunch of the stuff. But anything that comes to Renegade, uh, is always sending it my way. So Dino Thunder Pack's gonna have Connor, Ethan, Kira, Trent, and Evil Dino White. More info for pre-order in April. Ranger Allies pack number two is going to have Zane from in space. Purple cards were teased. Abilities uh, on cards point to maybe like even RJ from Jungle Fury, which would be cool. Uh, one of them could even be uh, for like Hyperforce Green. Joe Shi was looking like maybe that could be one of the weapons. Um, the 2021 big box sets theme tease is being related to United. More info coming in late summer or early fall. Um... United. Is that... Are you thinking, like... I don't think they're, like, necessary evil or anything like that. Um, but so here's some fun thing, though, about the uh, the RPG. You guys remember that we're going to have a Power Rangers RPG coming out for them? Well, these guys also did the Transformers RPG and the G.I. Joe RPG. Well, guess what? Or maybe they're all coming out in June. Anywho, the big thing is that um, the three of them will have built-in cross-play. So... If you have a friend who I'm sure we all do in this fandom who loves Transformers, you it, I don't know how they're going to build this in, but it says crazy. Power Rangers RPG will have a create and customize Zord feature based on your character's team color and role on the team. I'm very excited for that, so I, uh, I will be picking up the Power Rangers RPG because that is actually something that I could maybe play like i'm pretty sure my husband will play it and my friend nick they already know how to do because they play DD every other friday night online via like they use a program so i am sure we can figure this out but i am really excited to try to get a power rangers like rpg going so maybe that'll be another fun thing in the streaming uh if, would anyone actually watch that actually that's that probably a good question first would anyone actually watch me do a power rangers rpg it might just depend who else was on it that's it i gotta get the crew i gotta start calling the strawberry 17 at come on she can help right someone give me your number um so yeah gaming news on that ah, not as much toss that off real quick transition we are done with gaming news oh also i have been playing i don't know about you guys i finally found my next uh like i i have to play game and it's been a really long time since i've had one of those but uh it's called bloons td6 and i've never it's it's amazing and i absolutely need it in every single way to just keep playing it and i was going to live stream it last night and i've lost my notes already i was gonna live stream it last night and uh i need to just i got caught up in um in literally playing it somehow some way i have literally lost my ranger we can review notes and all of my tabs Y'all don't even know. This is a challenge. This is a challenge. <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Okay, so let's do merch news. Uh, and then I'll talk about this lightning collection fun stuff because you guys know the light the, the, the teenage mutant ninja turtles and stuff. So yeah, yeah, we want to be ready for that one. But this guy right here is going to be the armored red ranger it'll appear for you guys in just a second uh the armored red ranger it's going to be by uh three zero now these were the oop, these people also are doing um the other like one six regular red through green but there's this one so this one however is going to be starting at 130 dollars suggested retail price it said it's only going to be limited to 1,000 of them. So if you really want one, 
try to get your pre-order in. It's already sold out. The pre-orders are sold out, I think, on Toy Wiz and Entertainment Earth. I'm not sure. either. So either Toy Wiz or Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure which one. But I'm pretty sure at Entertainment Earth, it's already clo uh, pre-orders are already closed. They are up for pre-order on Amazon, but it's like marked up by like $20 or $30 already. So they are still available, but there is a little bit of markup. But I did just want to let you guys know that. And uh, yeah, if you check my store, you'll see like a 3-1 Rangers. You'll see all the images for it. Click on it and it'll show you all the uh, information for all seven of them so far so it's going to be available in shops on july 28th final orders are going to be due on march 22nd so if you if you have a place that you know you can really get in a pre-order uh give it a shot if this is something that you are super super de duper interested in and and now we we've got to start it's <laughs> i have another lightning collection we got about turtle rangers whoa i'm still getting used to i so you guys want to hear about upgrades in the last while i'm getting this image up here for you in the last like two weeks i went from a yeti to a atx7 uh microphone i upgraded from windows 7 to windows 10 uh i got the join and all that stuff done with youtube um yeah it's been it's been i got a cable to try to hook up my nice camera up here but it's not working and yada yada but i've actually had a lot of like behind the scenes fun stuff that i've been working on this though it's what you're looking at here there's new power ranger lightning collection listings revealed and the name of, of there's these these two packs it literally says tmnt2 pack so yeah tmnt now there's four turtles and three two packs so you're like all right uh, well turtles those are them so it's like maybe the pink ranger like with an april head like that would be cool and people think of like maybe casey or something like that what that last two pack is gonna be uh we're not sure but they just say uh pack a pack b pack c but then there was also lightning collection a sqd venus and a sqd jupiter so sqd we're just thinking a squad because we already have a squad blue right uh from that two pack so we're like okay a squad venus that would pretty much mean that venus is going to be yellow like confirming that color code for us in the lightning collection system and then uh venus we know is no jupiter i'm sorry we know is red so that would mean spd a squad red charlie the yeah that's her name right the the first like not first because in comics grace was the first female red ranger and then lauren shiva was a red ranger before charlie would have been in space for spd but I've gone cross-eyed, and the point of the story is we might be getting uh, <laughs> a lightning collection figure for her. <coughs> ah, sorry, man. Dude, my allergies are just bleh. Oh, man, I'm so behind them. Chad, I'm sorry about that. I've been really trying to get this focused on here. Watch, I better be playing uh, more. Uh, I watch, I'd like to play. Yeah. Um cool 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 yeah i uh i hope that'd be fun that'd be fun to be able to play so yeah a squad and you're like okay this is probably the turtles but the here's here's the one that makes you go okay it's probably definitely them now because why why are we thinking the comic turtles and not the ones from in space how about Boom, Boom Studios, Shredder. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there is a Green Ranger Boom Shredder, and it's beautiful, and I, of course, like an idiot, don't actually have a picture of it right here, but this would just make me think that this is thing. So, uh, Josh, Lightning Fig PR, he had uh, a source, like, send it to him, and he confirmed it, and they're not, like, they're not saying where it's being found at, because they don't 
want the store to find out and like get in trouble. So it's been confirmed by two different people though, and so I'm trusting them that this is legit. Like has been in the system. Don't know any more information about this, but can could you believe it? Like here we are getting maybe turtle rangers i told i i told my friend he's uh he's a big power ranger fan his name's nick he actually got me more into the fandom he's a huge turtles fan and uh, i was like hey you know those turtle rangers do you want figures of them he's like when where how oh my god sorry i wish i knew more details you always know that i know i usually know the details but this time i don't because we have nothing at all uh, do, 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 turtle packs. Oh, I do have a little bit of convention news, right? How strange is that? Um, I know I could cover more, but right now uh, about the turtles, that's all we have. We just have an image and, or we don't have an image. We have a listing and nothing else. But I uh, do want to mention actually really quick that I know some of, uh, I believe some of the like pre-orders for things have gotten bumped up maybe on Amazon. So check some of your pre-orders if you haven't already, uh, especially for the next wave, and see if any of them have uh, gone up at all in time. A uh, little bit of convention news, right? This is a Ranger Stop Mini, and it's happening tomorrow in Longwood, Florida. And they actually have four rangers going to be there. I I am very social distancing. I don't leave my house unless I pretty much have to. I get grocery pickups. So on one hand, I'm like, I don't want to be encouraging people going outside to events. On the other hand, it is news. And they will tell you about it. And, and I just... I don't know, man. I couldn't bring myself to go. I, but it, it, it's also easier for me to say because I am still covered in snow in St. Louis. And, you know, they're in Florida. Which may be easier. I could get a vaccine if I was in Florida, right? But not here. Wah, wah. Not where I live. Oh, good news that no one but uh, my parents actually just got... They'll get their first shots, like, March 6th or something. So that that makes me very happy always. Uh, do, do, do it's time to move. Is it already time to move on to some Toku news? It is because we are flying through everything because you know and I know and Ranger Nation knows that we have got whoops, you don't need to see all that at once. That we have got a lot, a lot of Dino Fury news. So let's start it with talking instead about oops, <laughs> I hit the button too early. You'll, you'll notice why in a second. There we go. You'll see my face again in a moment. Or not. You can close your eyes and pretend it's an audio podcast. Ben Knight's Machinations. We got some official images for Kamen Rider Saber Dr Dragonic Knight. This suit is beautiful. It is just, to me, it's, it's an absolute, like, stunning, I need this. Uh, I'm even going to show you a bonus pick of it because I want you to be able to see the absolute beauty. It, it has, I don't know why. I don't know why I love it so much, I suppose, but I really do. Uh, it's going to be a premium Bandai Web exclusive. It's going to cost you 7,100 yen and set for a July release. If you're interested, there's also a cloak. That's another one. You don't really see the cloak in this, but, but there's a cloak. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a cloak or a cape. It just, it's just a thing with me. Uh, but that's our current, well, say it's, this is also our current show, Liz. We're not done talking about our current show. This is going to be the Kamen Rider Buster spinoff manga. It's got some details for it. Uh, the first chapter is entitled The Strongest Youth Arc, Part one and it's going to focus on uh buster back when he was in high school tell the secret origins of how he became common writer buster uh it's going to start on a february 28th serialized exclusively on toy togasatsu band club which i don't have a subscription to still want to read it though Let's talk about Kamen Rider G.O. Decade Ride Watch re-release. There is some... Um, I, I feel like there, there's more out than I even ended up grabbing for all of this Rider stuff. But there are a lot of fun... Ooh, doo, doo, rider, Rider. 
Oh, there we go. This is stuff back from the K Touch Twenty One. That's up. There's a lot of stuff up for pre order actually right now. Um, uh, believe that is up for pre order as well. There's just a few things that like I had noticed are already going up on a uh, Team Riders, uh, pages that are going to be up for pre order. Let's see, Decade Ride Watch. I'll find the exact image so I know I'm not showing you something really old. How about that? Kamen Rider Geo DX Decade Ride Watch is getting a re-release for it. Yay! 3,000 yen premium Bandai Web exclusive, and uh, it's going to be a June release. But of all the other ones that I was kind of showing you... Um, do, do, do. I'll see if I can find it while you're checking that out. But yeah, there was definitely um, just a lot more things that have come up for pre-order. Here we go. Yeah, Decade Ride Watch and the... Oh, Kamen Rider Saber Ride Watch and Decade Complete, Complete Form 21 Ride Watch. Again, I, I just can simply not talk today yep well oh, there they are like september 15th so i'm double and i'm gonna cross reference this is real time liz uh news i'm, I'm gonna get you the info now three thousand eight hundred yen for decade ride watch okay so on Amazon, it's only 30 bucks, and it's basically $30, and it's saying it's a premium Bandai Web exclusive, and you can pre-order it on Amazon right now. So that's what I'm saying right now. That's that's kind of bonkers. So I found those while I was doing news uh, gathering and stuff today. So if you are interested in getting... Here we go. Well, I was going to try to get it added to the live stream, but I, again, I'm sorry. I just have way too many tabs open and stuff right now. Here we go. Uh, do, do, do. So, first link, yeah, I was going to toss up is Decade Ride Watch. And then next one I was going to toss up is for the Saber Ride Watch and Decade Complete Form. Um, yeah, so I spent a little too much time today actually scouring the Bandai Toy Department, uh, which is really just Team Rider Store on Amazon. And I probably should not have added as much stuff to my wish list as I should have. But I think you guys probably all uh, understand that, right? Drink. Life is stuff. Miss editing a little. Um, a little, but I don't really have time to miss it. So, it's kind of, it's kind of where that is right now. I don't have time to miss editing. All right. Is it time? Oh my gosh. You know what? I honestly, I. I really did think we had Kira Major news this week, and apparently we do not. So I'm sorry about that. Or not Kira Major, Zenkaiser. For Kira Major, uh, really the only thing to say is just that it's it's ending very soon. So if you were one of those people who like to get caught up, you know, before the show's over or anything like that, um, get get going. Uh, the next episode is going to be episode 43. Four, and that's airing what tomorrow and so that would mean episode 45 is is it it's the last episode which i'm i'm gonna be sad like i'm i'm gonna miss it as i always do but zenkaiser just seems wackadoodle so i really just can't wait to watch it because i have you have no idea what in the world we're gonna be getting out of it uh but for that i'm yeah i'm I am super duper hyped uh, for this this new show because it just it looks so off the wall in the nice way. Yeah, that's a very nice way of putting it. I didn't even put my little Sentai News thing up. Oh, there you go. 
you can have it for this last uh, bit of Sentai news because that is going to be Gal Ranger Super Mini Plot Gal King has had a teaser released. Um, there's actually going to be more stuff because it's the 15th, or I'm sorry, the 20th anniversary of Gal Ranger. So hopefully there's going to be some more stuff uh, coming out of it. But there you go, man. Gal King Super mini plot and then you also see the silhouettes of the six shoto super gal rangers in the background no other information on this yet it is again just a teaser but it's still neat i like that they're it's not just the super old ones because i felt like they kind of went back to like Jew ranger and they're doing those and now it's like yeah yeah jump jump ahead jump ahead i want to see a little more a little more of what they are working with uh, Ultraman. We got Ultraman news? Yeah, we do. How about Ultra 7? Yeah, that's one. Because Ultra 7 is like the original, like the OG Ultraman. Ultra 7 Episode 1 is now legally streaming on YouTube from Tokushoutsu. Oh, okay. That was crazy. So, yeah, it's... There it is, the first episode. If you want, you can watch it on uh, Tokushatsu TV or on the Tokushatsu channel on Pluto TV. So these are all free. Again, Pluto TV, if you don't know, it's a free like app you can get for your smart TV or whatever. And it just has free TV, like old series and whatever, things in syndication. Old things like this that people bring up. So it's it's got a lot of stuff in it. I mean, it doesn't even have, like, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle channel or something. So, go to Tokushoutsu, and, yeah, you'll be able to start watching Ultra 7. And that is very tempting to me. Very, very tempting for me. Uh, oh, yeah, so... <laughs> speaking of, of things that I that I want to, to do or and or read or watch and never probably will get to, let's talk about the Trials of Ultraman comic book. Uh, we got the trailer revealed for that. It is set for a March release. Um, it's basically the same team behind Rise of Ultraman. So uh, Kyle Higgins, Matt Groom, and Francisco Mana. So Rise of Ultraman, again, coming out in March. And there are some pre preview, I'm sorry, pages of it available if you want to go ahead and take a look at them. I, I really wish obviously i i finally i found issue two it it wasn't with the rest of my comics so now that i have a few more um i don't know maybe since i have all my comics together now i should just sit and force myself to actually read more of them maybe i don't know i read radiant black issue one that counts i read one episode one episode one issue Ooh, let's talk Shin Ultraman. Medicom Mafex Shin Ultraman has been revealed. No um, price or anything like that, really. But all the Shin Ultraman hype uh, is going to... I mean, obviously, we have the new teaser trailer just came out for it a few weeks ago. Uh, Medicom said they are also going to be joining them with this Shin Ultraman figure. All we have right now is the teaser image, so we don't really know how it's going to be different from just, like, because we are, are getting a fig art of it, right? So, I don't know how it's going to be different. Maybe it'll just been like, Chinese beautiful things. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. Do you know? None of us know. And that's fine. I know nothing. I am Liz Snow. Uh, man. No, no, no. Uh, Galaxy Rising. I didn't grab. I'm sorry. I'll grab an image for you really quick. Because it was for, uh... Ultraman G, and now I, I feel like I did, so I'm just kind of curious as to where in the world I have this image saved for, for, for Ultraman, uh, Ultraman G. There we go. Only the most highest of production qualities for my Ranger Weekend Review. How about Ultraman G? Galaxy Rising. Uh, this this is looks really cool. So this is gonna be the one because uh, he used the Ultra Z riser or Ultra Z yeah Ultra Z riser um, back in Ultraman Z, and so he looks really cool. But it's also gonna come with Ultraman Z's Z Lance arrow and extra hands for Ultraman Z Alpha Edge. So 
it's ah it's one of those things you're like well wait i want more hands like well you know i wish we gave more hands to that one we'll just put it in this other guy's thing and yet and yet um so like all of these lately uh their main cooperation with cbr's official modeling team the light sculpture studio premium bandai web exclusive 7400 yen july release it's a lot of money it does look nice though of course it does look nice and now guys if you need to grab a fresh drink get up and stretch it's time to talk about dino fury so let's start stripping away all of this toku craziness and sadness not sadness it's all happy but I'm getting it all off of my area. Let's do a little start, start fresh with Dino Fury news. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a right way of saying it's gonna take me just a second. I'm gonna shift gears here, grab a drink. Da, da, da. Yeah, sure. I'll just I'll start with this random image. Why not? Um, I God, I can't I can't wait. I'm I'm very very excited for tomorrow i wish i could say i'm going to you know wake up and live tweet it and do whatever but that is just simply not possible because even if i set an alarm and wake up my daughter will be awake with me and i just simply um there's there's no way that i can do it and that makes me really sad but that's that's okay um I will, however, be watching it as soon as possible. Uh, I want to do a review of it. However, I, I don't. I, I can't tell you like I'm gonna do one, you know, Saturday right afterwards or anything like that. Just I will be reviewing episode one at some point, seven a.m. and nope, unlimited, not Ultraman. Yeah, I probably said something wrong. Ah, uh, you're like Liz. Who's that guy? Right? Who's that guy? That's Bert Sellen. He's a new composer for Power Rangers Dino Fury. Uh, he said out in a tweet, "Very excited to announce I'm composing the music for season 28 and 29 of Power Rangers Dino Fury. The show premieres next Saturday, February 20th at 8 a.m. Eastern on Nickelodeon." I. Do you want to talk about the theme? You can talk about the theme right now in chat. I get that. So, with him, I... If you watched the, like, three-minute clip that Nickelodeon posted uh, earlier today, if you put all of it together, we've already gotten, like, five minutes of the first episode. But if you listen to the background, like, fight music, it's got that 8-bit in it. And I love 8-bit stuff like that. You'll listen in... Like, my, the background music of the videos and stuff I do, a lot of it, there's, like, 8-bit uh, electro kind of stuff in it. And so, I'm bopping to this. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, 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 this is great. And, yeah, some of y'all apparently don't really, um, you know, don't really like that as much. But that's okay. That's okay. I really liked it. And I keep an ear out for the fight music and stuff and let me know what you think. But that whole electronica, like, yeah, it's, um, I'm a fan. So that is Bert. Everybody say hi to Bert. Hi, Bert. Bert Sellen, our new composer for Power Rangers Dino Fury. Uh, we did get some official, like, stills for episode one, but I swear some of them we had already seen. Um, so... <laughs> As I kind of, like, throw some of these up, these aren't the official images for episode one that they have, but some of them are. I just don't have them labeled 100% correctly because, again, I suck. Yeah, these definitely aren't episode one because we don't even see. Woohoo! Look at all of them. Oh, you guys, I've been clicking through. Ugh. I'm just going to throw up another image and fight through this tonight. 
if you want to check out even more of them, like Morphin Legacy, a bunch of places have the entire list uh, of images up there. There's a handful of them, but there's nothing that's like two way more groundbreaking than just this one. So uh, go getting Amelia accompanies Ollie and his mom to investigate the mysterious Dino Hinge statues. They run into an evil warrior named Void Knight and a threat that puts the entire world in danger. And if you would like to watch most of that, you can check out the clips on Nickelodeon's Twitter and Power Rangers Twitter because they already have all of them up. I, oh, 7 a.m., come on, I'm still seeing, we saw most of the website leak, I'm, so I won't sleep in. Ryan, good good on you, man, good on you. I'm just going to say, actually, I slept to set my DVR. It randomly said I, I had, like, Super Ninja Steel to record, it's like, oh, I don't know, but, but I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, uh, oof. one more sleep. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even put this on. I actually, I was just really cold. I wasn't expecting to keep this hoodie on the entire time, honestly. But here it is this long and it's still on me. So I might as well put this on. Mm. There we go. Oh, it almost fits. There we go. Yeah. I have the morpher right here. Oh, it's powered off. My daughter hates. She is too loud. She doesn't like. She doesn't really like loud sounds. Yeah. Dance party. Yep. That's that's what uh, you'd miss for having this. Uh, oh, thank you, Alan. Uh, I don't stand the Electro Knight Cannon, but I would Electro Knight Stan. Uh, not a lot of nets in Power Rangers Arsenal, as I recall. Right? We don't really get Electro Nets very often. I'm a big fan of that. Sorry, so late. I forget it. It reads it out. Uh, no worries, Kelly. So, here's... Red Ranger key, right here. Oh, I so it. I don't know. It's really stiff. It, it might just be better like after I play with it a while. Yeah, it does. It's not voice. Right. Well, I'm morphed now. I think it's going to randomly growl at me from here on out. So we'll see how that goes the rest of the night. Uh, are you hyped about the premiere of Dino Fury? Let's do this. Let's do... <laughs> as, as it, again, is randomly growling at me. Episode 1. We have the preview. Should I... I'm going to take you off. Turn you off, at least. Have you guys in, in chat watched the preview? Because that's where, I guess right now, we're, we're going to kind of start talking about the preview, what we've seen so far. Um, there we go. Okay. That was everyone's little warning. Like, you've already seen enough about, about this. I haven't seen... There are actually... Oh, so... So while people are, I'm, I'm waiting for people to reply. There's also some articles and interviews that have came out today from uh, Simon Bennett, from the cast. I have not had time to to pretty much do anything really about news today other than like watch the previews. So hopefully uh, if you check, like follow me on my socials and stuff, I've been retweeting them. But there are some really cool ones out. I know ones from like sci-fi, ones from comic book that are with him and it apparently has some really neat things about like the comics too. So I'm intrigued and I will be reading them. I just have not gotten to them yet. So Void Knight's voice, I don't know. I think uh, I, I watched it and it was, it didn't throw me off. The dinosaur voice kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, just that weird little bit of like you old lizard, like I'm not a lizard and I'm not old. I'm like, okay. Uh, Amelia, 
takes Void Knight down temporarily with an Electro Net. That's awesome. I can't wait to see that. And I, and in the newest one, in the the newest clip that we did get, we did hear that Ollie has had six years of fencing or something, and like three years of martial arts. And Amelia also has three years of martial arts. And when they show us them fighting, they are they they fighting. Yeah, I know. I don't want to be like too too into it for people who like haven't seen it or want to go in pretty spoiler free but the the fighting looked fantastic um the choreography looked great i oh i heard a weird it sounded like someone's powering down i heard a um or i just need this drink right now Let's start all that over again. Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. No, we're not going that far back. Just <laughs> let me at least start swapping over Dino Fury pictures. Give you something else to look at while we're talking about it, right? I've got enough images. Yeah, so we have the we've had the theme song. We've had the little teaser. And then we got a two minute clip from. No, how long was it? It was from Nickelodeon. And then, yeah, we just got this, like, three-minute one long from Nickelodeon. So, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of different, uh, things to go. I looked at this on the screen, and for a second, I'm not kidding you, I went, how do I actually put Dino Charge on here? I'm like, nope, nope, that's, that's Dino Fury. They just kind of look like from the, the side from here. Destination Dino Hinge, episode one. We have episodes up for two and three. I would expect us to be getting live, uh, just our new episode every week for at least five or so. That will be great. Uh, I do, yes, want to review it. I don't know what day that'll go up, but I do want to review episode one. So we'll see, uh, We'll see how this goes, and and I'm just really really excited for it. What else is there, other than I, I'm just leaving it over to chat right now. We 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 just we just chilling. Uh, here we go. Uh, Cole Co uh, Cole Cookie. Uh, Liz, what do you think about Sporex balls that they showed in the second preview? I thought they looked really cool. The Sporex balls. Um, we know the Sporex like uh. It's a power, like, Void Knight. We kind of know he's out after it just due to his uh, character descriptions and stuff. So, yeah, these Sporks things look really awesome. And they, they do look very much alive. And that was that was awesome. Uh, what, do you, what did you guys think if you guys have had seen them? But I, I think they look awesome. Uh, Skin Boy 10, I think Black and Green Rangers will be introduced in episode... Uh, Five or six. I I don't know. That is a little late. Seriously, Burgundy Ranger. I, he's in chat. He always knows all the listings. First preemption comes after episode three. Three episodes and then a preemption. <clears throat> yes. So, Hengemen. Dino Henge and Hengemen. So, the Henchmen are called Hengemen. And uh, it's also because there, there used to be hinges on the keys but they don't now romp 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 but yeah dino hinge and, and stuff like that i i love this whole dino hinge like being out and I, I i don't know i just hope i see them more like outside by these statues but i also really need to know more about this lizard chick also i need to know what her name is please don't be liz Please. So nice that he's American Power Key to release the henchman. Oh, yeah. March 13th is Kids' Choice Awards Day. Even 8 a.m. gets bumped. That's horrible. Uh, maybe those Sporex become monsters. That, yeah. Uh, Hen henchman is great. I love their stolen ranger training droids. So, yeah, that is one thing real quick. He's like, hey, use this and the henchman will help you attack him. And 
Well, if you've seen any of the previews, you know that they don't necessarily help the Rangers at all. <sighs> Green and black will appear in episode four. New recruits. How about that? Okay, I didn't. I didn't even notice we got number four, episode four stuff out yet. Look, I'm even. I'm even learning stuff right now. All of this stuff about Dino Fury. I can't believe that, man. I oh, do I want it? Do I want to hear me? Of course, I want to hear me go. I still haven't remembered to bring him down here. I have two. Thanks, Sean. There are two Tier Amigos in my house. Although I do still have my dinosaur costume. It's actually in the it's in the closet right over there. Ooh, that would be one of those like weird stretch goals. I would just open the closet and put it on the dinosaur suit and be like, okay guys, now I'm a dinosaur. Rawr. I did the Ranger Recon review in the dinosaur costume once. It was a really, really slow news week. I had, like, nothing to talk about. I think the entire show was, like, ten minutes. And I did it in a dinosaur costume. Things you do, man. The things you do. <laughs> uh, I think a little show, backstory of Zato, uh, before, back, like, to nowadays. Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope we get some fun backstory with him. I also like that, like, he has antenna and sometimes he do doesn't. And... Uh, I'm I see this is where I'm throwing off because I was thinking like was it episode three was Zato gets like a message and so I was like, Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be this one, um, that I'm looking at the picture right now. But that also could very well not be it, because if they don't appear until four and five, then you know. Oh I gotta pull up this one again too, just because it's it's Mick. It's Mick and and and, and Dino Lady. I kept calling him Dino Dude, or her Dino Dude. I'm so, I I don't know, what's a dinosaur? I just thought Dino Dude sounded fun. Then here I go. Um, Simon Bennett's comic book interview strongly suggests we do start with Zato's backstory. Okay. If they brought in the Tiramigo in human size, I would need to fly down there and pet that costume. I need to hug it. So much. Tiramigo is is a lot to me. I love him so. Uh, Mick, uh, anyone want to know what, guess? I, I don't know. But anyone want to guess why in the world Mick is here? Is that like, should he be here? <laughs> why is he here? Uh, shame Dino Fury is in Dino Charge Universe. Zato and Ivan would buddy together, right? I, I hope Void and I, yeah, you know, I like just the evil menacing suit and the fact that he looks like them. Like, you could tell, like, he may have been one of us even. He may, you know, whatever, like, you know, Solon, S-O-L-O-N, Solon. Oh, maybe I heard Void Knight say it, and I just wasn't understanding what he was saying, as in, that's the person's name. There we go. That was probably it, too. This is them yelling, it's Morphin Time. This is from the teaser trailer, I believe. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's a good note. Uh, Almighty CRJ. Void Knight damages the console, and makes probably fixing it. That's a good idea. If they are stuck on Earth, who else really knows alien tech like Mick would? Um... <laughs> my my opinion is that Mick will become Russo Brown, but in dream sequence, just like how Boom became Orange Ranger and SPD. That would be crazy. So he would have like Orange Ranger, and then he became um, a Ranger in Super Ninja Steel for like one episode or something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he would totally. He just needs another one. Is yeah, actually, Alan has the great question there. Never mind. Why is Mick here? Is Mick staying? Uh oh, oh, or someone else? Maybe Mick's the one who sends the message to Zato on F three. Yeah, there is a lot of fun stuff when you start to really think like, why are why is he here? I mean, it could be just be like obviously because we like Elson Henderson, but yeah, why? Why exactly is he here? Um. 
Question, I wonder if they'll get a different main villain next season. Uh, the Void Knight stuff, I mean, he's he's around, man. He's he's around. So they're not, like, going to run out of footage. But if he's going to be the main guy, they would still have a lot of stock villain footage that if they wanted to do something different for, you know, season two, um, they would have a lot of options still. <sighs> <clears throat> Maybe mix, uh, sway for who the sixth ranger is. Um, he has a, uh, uh, man, Jordan Light. Isn't his last name like Light? L I T E. Jordan Light? Is it gonna be? He's down there, but it's kind of the. We haven't seen him in any leaked pictures yet. Like back whenever we saw like Nate. And we're like, oh, and then all of a sudden we saw him like standing with the team where, you know, we saw him seeing him wearing a gold jacket, gold jacket here and there. And then he starts pausing with the team. We're like, oh, okay, it's going to be Nate, you know? And yeah, I don't know about the. Uh... They haven't shown anything with the Gold Ranger. Um, thought I, I love Void Knight being the main villain since even using the Sentai footage means the Big Bad is a lot more involved. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just. I'm just happy with all of them, man. I'm just happy with where this is. I'm I'm excited for tomorrow and and for the premiere of this new show. I've got this. I had fun today. I showed uh, the kiddo the two minute uh, clip like from Nickelodeon. She loved it. She was she watched the theme song like five times. She was just running around, bouncing, punching, and stuff, singing along with it. So. You know, it's it's like for us, eh, whatever we think. But she's four. She's the target audience, and she loved the theme song. She loved the preview of it. She uh, she liked th uh, this until it got really loud because she, she has a thing with loud noises. Um, but <laughs> oh, look at the back real quick. It's got the it's got the little label on the back. That's pretty neat. It is it is loud though, and the key is not being like. I mean, I would just flick these, you know? Oh, wait. Hold on. I would flick these, you know? It's take two. So it's take two, right? Well, let me be Sean real quick. There we go. <laughs> if any of you guys watch Orange Ranger videos till the very end, you would know what I mean there. I kid. I kid. I love you, Sean. Uh, yeah, so this is what they look like and um this is what we got very very shiny and it just doesn't have the same like you put it in it just doesn't like click so it kind of feels like i'm just gonna break it and i don't know i don't know i'll end up playing with it that's fine but at least now i have one that uh at least now I have one that my daughter can play with, so she stops trying to take mine. Uh, Rep uh, Ranger Rick Review, episode 68. Oh, my God. Thank you for finding that, Kelly. That, uh, yeah. Zato Jump was cool. Yeah, we do see, we get to see a tiny little bit of Scrozzle. Scrozzle, Scrozzle. We get to see a little tiny little bit of Zato, and I was reading the comment. I'm still hoping for Scrozzle to appear. I, however... However it is, I will take him. Uh, Ryan, man, thanks for saying uh, and hanging out. I hope your morning is more phenomenal. Which, that's, I don't know. That's really cheesy, right? Right. Uh, Blue and Pink's morphs had a little music in the morphing sequence. There's actually, yeah, there's, uh, there, there's a lot of fun stuff to digest. Um, but mostly, it's tomorrow. And, uh, and y'all... With that, I think I'm about, uh, do I think I'm about done? Hold on. No, I gotta put it. There. Wait, real quick. There we go. I have to toss this up. So, anywho, yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm really bad at mentioning this a lot, um, like before, but I do have Patreon if you want to be involved in this at all. Um, but, uh, with Patreon, you get your name on this, this card right there. But if you do it on YouTube, you also get this card. But you also get, like, extra stuff by your name uh, during live chats and on comments and things like that. So, 
wanted to bring that up, but guys, I'm I'm just gonna cut it because there is we we've ran it to the ground. There's nothing else to be said for Dino Fury other than it premieres tomorrow. I hope you watch. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find something you enjoy in it. Because this, there's just so much, uh, like, if you don't like the theme, that's cool. Maybe you like the morphs, so maybe you like something else, but. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Y'all, I love you. I will see you at the next video. If no one told you, I love you. You're awesome. And I'll see you at the next video. I know. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> Doodles.